Hey guys, it's Ivan, and today we'll have a look how to make string-like sounds using the Ghost in Carpal Strong configuration. First of all, you might be wondering what is Carpal Strong Synthesis. Carpal Strong Synthesis is a method of physical modeling synthesis that loops a short waveform or noise through a filtered delay line to simulate the sound of a hammered or plugged string or some type of percussion. For this, we'll be using the Ghost delay section at very short delay times to create our waveform, and with additional filters and the delay feedback pass, we can shape how bright or damp our string is. To achieve a natural plug sound, we'll need to ping the delay input, and for this we'll be using our new envelope module, AirStreamer 4. It will allow us to create either short or long envelopes with variable shape, so we can have a lot of control over the dynamics of our signal. So let's connect the 0 to 5 volt output from the AirStreamer to the audio input on the Ghost, like this. And then brought the gate output from the track 1 on the ground control to trigger our envelope. Let's also set the repeats to be around uh, 3 o'clock and try to play some notes. Now let's patch the sequence from track 1 on the ground control to the time divider on the delay that also tracks one volt per octave. And let's start our sequence. To further shape the sound, we can use three controls. First one is the decay of our envelope, the input tone control, and also repeat tone control. All three will have an effect on the overall sound, and let's play around with these until we find something we like. So let's switch to sequence B and start. <laughs> As you can see, I can dampen the sound a bit. play around with the tone of the delay. As you can see, I also have the reverse reverb, where we can adjust the pre-delay. the tone. Now let's also try to modulate using the pitch output on track 2 of the ground control, the decay of the air streamer envelope. And additionally, I have set up the external input 1 to modulate the octave of track 1. So I'll be using track number 3 to change the octaves. So let's start our sequence. Now to take this patch even further, we can switch the routing mode to number 2. That will give us a filter before the delay line, so we can shape the input even more. So let's do that.
apart from being able to just ping the internal delay line on the ghost, we can also set the delay to self-oscillation and use the Airstreamer 4 envelope to control the dry wet amount, which will act as a VCA. So for that, let's unpatch the audio input. Plug in a dummy cable to generate some noise. And set the repeats to almost maximum. As you can hear, now we have a tone. And then we can patch the envelope to control the delay. This will be our attenuator. So for that, we can start playing some notes. some reverb. This technique is particularly nice with generating more synthesized type sounds, so let's start our sequence and hear how this sounds. patch the bipolar output from the air streamer to modulate the filter. You can hear there is a lot of potential for modal synthesis in the ghost module and that is without using any of the sound sources. You can try to experiment by feeding this carpus trunk patch different noise bursts and other sounds to excite the resonator in different ways. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Explore this patch at home and you will be surprised by how many different sounds you can create with this configuration. You can even just feed it drum sounds or drum breaks and use the ghost as a resonator. That way you can also start modulating the time or the pitch control of the resonator, the different filters, reverbs and other controls. As always, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to not miss the next video. That is all for today, have fun making music and we will see you next time.